Hello once again, it's Mr. Pete, your old shop teacher, and this is tips number 817. Now I've made 10 videos on the South Bend lathe so far on the different modifications, changing it from a Model C to a Model B. And in a recent video, I forgot the number. You might want to go back and watch those so you know why I'm doing this. But I did make a gear for the crossfeed screw. I was greatly criticized for that for many reasons. I might talk about that a little bit more later. But Adam Lambert very kindly sent me the correct crossfeed screw. Did I say lead screw? Crossfeed screw. And this came from a 1942 model. B or A, 9 inch lathe, very good condition, I have the brass nut for it as well, and it has a direct reading dial on it, a little bit cobbled up on the end here, but I think it's going to work just fine. So let's begin here by me taking apart the cross feet again and removing this old screw that I modified, talking about that a bit, and then installing this and parts of this will be sped up so it is not too painful for you. Watch those other videos so you know why I'm doing this. I have already loosened the gibbs so that I can screw the cross slide right off real quickly. Next I will loosen these two screws just a little bit so the apron drops slightly from the saddle giving me a little clearance so that the gear is no longer mesh. This gear with the larger gear in the apron. I've already loosened this and I have to take off this screw with that specially built screwdriver that I talked about. Make yourself one of those if you need to. Don't lose any of these parts because they're not replaceable very readily anyway. Except off of Feebay, possibly. And then the collar, graduated collar comes off and finally That comes off, and this screw will not pull through here. I think the new one will. Remember, I had to open up this hole a little. Do you remember that? So here is the one that I modified, cut the gear, and installed it in an earlier video that you can look at if you desire. Maybe I'll try to put the link down at, in the description. 10% of you will find this interesting. There's a little screw here and it's marked oil. Perhaps you can say, see that? I've already moved that out. It has to be flush. I wonder how many people would go to the effort of oiling this. So there's the tiny slotted set screw. I'll set that aside. But the purpose of that is that so when the screw is installed, you can oil, put a few drops of oil in there and that oil should go through that hole or that hole in order to lubricate the shaft right where my thumb is. Well the problem is if these are not matched up I, because I think that this is located during assembly at the factory otherwise how would they orient it correctly because I've noticed that when you put this all the way in and tighten it up this hole does not necessarily line up with this hole and that's going to be true also with this one. At this time I'm not going to worry about that but I'm sure the nitpickers would notice that and crucify me. <laughs> These are the three men that made this video possible. Remember John Collings from Florida gave me the machine. Roger Taylor gave me that upgraded apron and Adam Lampard this screw right here. Crossfeed screw. So this is the original one that came from Florida. I made the gear in that video and it's held on with red Loctite. People said you should have used green Loctite, but of course it hasn't slipped on me. Others wanted me to pin it. Well, pinning it 
reduces the strength of an already rather small diameter. I didn't want to weaken it. Others wanted me to braze it or silver solder it or press fit it. You know, press fitting with a interference uh, fit is not all that easy because it is so easy to, uh, to make a mistake and then you can't get it on all the way or you, uh, it's loose. And then you might as well just use the Loctite. So uh, again, a lot of criticism for that probably well deserved. Others suggested, you know, heating and cooling and all of that for the fit. But I didn't do that, but I'm taking this out of service and I'm going to install this one. But this is the one that was sent to me from California by Roger Taylor. And at that time, I realized that it was not the correct one. You can see how much longer it is. It's out of a, a Model 10, I believe, uh, some people have told me. Remember that these are left-hand Acme threads, and somebody said, well, why don't you just make a new one? Well, why don't you make a new one for me? <laughs> this would be no easy job. It could be done, but you got that thread, you got an undercut, you got a gear, you got all kinds of different diameters here and a keyway and a thread is it is this would be a very challenging job not that it couldn't be done but that being said I'm going to go ahead and install this a very kind viewer left a comment and I cannot find it I lost it they get buried the comments get buried and I can't find them I should have tried to print it out right away but he talked about the diameter of the gears so this being an original gear but probably from a number 10 lathe you can see that it's exactly 750 thousandths so that's the size that I made this now because of that you might recall that I had to open up the hole in the casting and install that from the rear rather than from the front if you can understand that but taking a look at this one that Adam gave me this gear is oh, about anyway this gear is just a few thousand smaller about ten thousand smaller and that is what that person was trying to tell me in the comment and he gave me some uh, accurate dimensions and I'm not sure where he got them but he was correct so let's step back to the machine one more thing the graduated collar on all of the older South Bends are just a little bit over an inch they read from zero to one hundred thousandths they're almost impossible for an older man to read and they're not satin chrome but anyway on this one from Adam and by the way it's marked Lambert and I'm not sure if this is a homemade dial it is aluminum but it of course is much larger in fact it's I can't see anything it's almost two inches in diameter and it's direct reading because it goes all the way to two hundred thousands so that's what I'm installing I don't necessarily want to install this ridiculous little one and because of that slightly smaller diameter that I just harangued on this will be able to be installed from the front like this that twenty thousandths or whatever it was made the whole difference so I don't have to take any of this apart like I did on the other one and I'll tighten that up as predicted the holes do not line up I took the screw out again and if I were to oil this there is no place for the oil to go so that would have to be if I wanted to do it right and I might go back and do that I would have to use a transfer punch take it apart and drill a hole there is just a little wobble in the screw I don't know if it's bent maybe it was that way from the factory I don't know I don't think it will hurt anything but it might cause a minor binding as I make adjustments we'll see 
question, put it in the comments, your answer, who made lakeside tools? Now I'm going to tighten these two screws right now and the, the gears will engage, so I might have to turn a little bit here to make sure that, uh, that the gears mesh properly. Just to double check, with the feed change lever in the bottom position, you can see that the clutch handle is turning, so I do know that the gears are properly engaged. And now with the gib in place, but in the loose position, I will put this back on. As such, I'm going to put just a couple drops of oil on here and on the screw before I engage it. Classic Eagle oil can. No wonder there's an oil shortage. And now off camera I will wipe off that excess oil and adjust the gibbs. I like these little magnetic trays for my parts, but did you ever drop something or lose it and you look and you look, you, you could waste hours and maybe never find it and at some other later date when you're moving this around, you found that it's down here because I just dropped this and it disappeared for a moment, but that's happened to me times, many times before. Now the reason I'm telling you that, really, yeah, no good reason, but as I crank this, I can feel that on the ball crank here that this handle is slightly bent. And it causes it to be an uncomfortable feeling if you're a purist. So at a later date, I may put this ball crank on instead, which I do know to be good. Again, I did not install Adam's brass nut here. And looking at, with a close-up here, you can see that there is some backlash, but there probably is almost that much in a brand new machine. There will always be backlash, the nature of a screw and a nut. So I'm not worried about that, but again, at a later date, I may install both of these. The weather is getting cold. This is probably the last video I can make in the Studio G this season. But does the darn thing work? You're probably thinking. Well, let's see. Machine's in forward. I'm in the correct position here. And when I tighten the clutch, there we go. This machine has a VFD, so it's so nice to be able to adjust the speed like that. Also note, that the lead screw now has a keyway in it, and that was one of my videos as well, where I had to cut that keyway. Always disengage your feed before you turn the machine off, so you do not inadvertently turn the machine on and have it take off on you. This video was made almost in real time because I've had this apart so many times that it's really simple, and now the job is officially completed, I think, except for those few little modifications that I will never show. And it has been converted from a Model C to a Model B, so I thank you to all these people, but most recently Adam Lambert, who provided the correct screw for this. Now, if you like my videos, please give me a thumbs up. That really helps more than subscribing. It helps YouTube to promote a video if there are a lot of uh, likes and thumbs up. So that I would appreciate. I have lots more videos to watch if you like my content. This is Mr. Pete saying so long and I'll see you in my next video.